about your heron, white heron you saw up front. Tells you it's very interesting, they are endangered, and to keep an eye on it or see if it shows up again. You dealt with your robbery, they came in, experts somehow robbed uh, the top level of your house or entered through the top level, which is probably why you know people don't usually shoot their cameras up towards the air. So, you know, <laughs> usually have them out to watch anyone walking up or running up or to your house. My camera shouldn't be going straight up. Yeah, but if you wanted to, like, that's what I'm saying. If you wanted to film in another direction, the directions you have didn't seem to cover. Some but also nothing seemed within, like, so many yards of the house. Somebody moved my cameras. No, I'm saying you don't have any pointing at the sky, so you don't have if anyone came from the sky. Oh, yeah. It's an unusual way to point your camera. But yeah. if you wanted to now... <laughs> I'm going to pop up some more cameras. Okay, so you're going to go in town and grab some more cameras. Oh, you're tracking, you want to track that. I'm tracking. He's checking about tracking to see where they went. First of all, to shore. Okay, and... You are... Well, she's in the middle, so... You get to shore. Um... Start tracking it. Your what's your truck? Uh, yeah, might as well go with the truck. Still got a lot of ammo and rifles into it. Okay. Now, like I said, they they took the expensive ones. So you have some basic weapons still there. And you can buy more later on if you want. There'll be time for them to get here, but track for a while. Rope change dice. Ninety three. Wow. Pawn shop. It's not where they are. <laughs> uh, searching around, driving around, you start heading to a better part of town, like where people like your parents live, but they don't live here. They live on the other side of the water. Like, you know that bay? They mm. live more in the main town, mostly. Okay. You're off in the other side of the bay where some lower income, some industrial, some ports, some military, things like that are. And some middle class housing district, which just got partially trashed by a giant crab. He's dead. Yes. Newspapers say crab for the homeless. <coughs> it was a great day for the homeless. But it doesn't cover the insurance, you know, that's going to pay for the damages. They're, well, the problem was, apparently to the newspaper you guys would have found out, it was that giant crab that the circus said they had, but a bunch of, well according to circus report from the people that were there, some of the performers, and they're talking to the stilt man, or tall man, the guy that's usually in stilts, although he's not in stilts right now. They're like, well, what happened with this? Like, well, it was crab man's pet. But he's still out there. I think he went out to the swamps to look for more. Oh boy. But he's crushed about it. Um, it would seem to be fine, but then these guys showed up. You know, ninjas or something. Well, no, they had guns and they were all wearing black. Came running in and seemed to want to trap it. And once it seemed to get agitated, it started growing. That was an unexpected change and, uh, it trashed through everything, but I don't know where, you know, he just found it out there in the swamps, so, you know, I don't see a reason that we should be held responsible for this, as some people are talking. It's not like, you know, anyone's bought it or anything. It was a stray. I think you should blame the Animal Control Agency for not getting it beforehand. So, like, well, thank you, and they go off. Talking to other people that saw things, stuff like that. Yeah, it seemed to grow pretty big, pretty quick. And then went trashing through town. It kept growing as it went. Uh, its armor seemed to be resilient to all but armor-piercing weapons. They were only direct hits. Most of the ammo just kind of bounced off. Um, army was the, the helicopter was firing missiles that were pierced, piercing. But so you weren't the only one that had armor piercing. No, but the military got, does. But I got I had some good, good so shots into it. Theories is they're talking to people or like military or 
um, like I said, ninjas. Uh, but they didn't have any markings. But apparently now we know why they wanted it. So it's like, well, you know, it's it's a, it's a tragedy. But you know, the big thing is the church or the circus keeps saying, "I'm not responsible." Oh, you gonna go get your car this morning? Put plastic sheets over. No, your fr your place was no. The car came through your front door or front area. I don't know why the bird did just fly in there. Afraid another car was coming in. I don't know. Maybe two-way traffic. I'll wait out here. First, I'm gonna check my surveillance cameras. Okay. Rope change size. Ninety-eight. Hey. Um, how far back do you go? Just like within that day, or? Mm -hmm. Uh, the bird's there. It was definitely there. Because you're filming, you know, the front door would be the most obvious place you'd be filming. And it, it landed, walked right up, smacked your door about three times, backed up, and looked back. Until you open the door. It looks like you find a rather well off mansion. Mansion, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of them on this area. You got in because, well, except for they stopped you at the front gate because you weren't driving a proper vehicle. <laughs> then you showed ID and they were like, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Ask you if you're of the Steel family. And of course, with stupid question, you are Steel family. Maybe not the same one. But they met the Rich family. Any connection between you and Barbara Steele? She's an actress and a writer. Mm -hmm. I have a couple movies with her. Old horror films. Yeah. She ended up doing re romance, but if you look at the horror film she was in, there was always a romance angle to them. Uh, I think that's all she saw. She wasn't there for the monster parts. <laughs> okay, green. Roll Double nickels. Ooh. So good enough. Ow! Oh. Takes you a bit, but as you get close to the house, because you know, you're in the home, housing district now. They got past the door. You get close to the house. Right, you recognize it. Well, if you want, you can still die. It's the congressman's oh. house. My brother lives, or my friend oh. lives there. Not now. He visits a lot, hangs out there. Actually, he spends about half his time at the, uh, you know, clubhouse. But he's got his own place actually too. This is where he takes, probably where he would take Linda. But not Sylvia. <laughs> no, it's Dad's house. He'd have to take Sylvia there and leave Linda at the other one. Yeah. <laughs> if they can get her out of jail again. <laughs> no, he's got to pay for it. So he gets to the door, or to the. Uh, of course, there's a a fence, you know, a wall, I should say, and a guard up front. But of course, seeing you and you know, the connection family. Oh, oh yeah. The congressman said you might be showing up. So just go up to the main house, not the pool house, and uh, I'll let him know you're coming. He said he uh, found something of yours. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I don't know anything more than that. So you go? Yes. Okay. Curiosity. Congressman Maxwell, meet you at the door. Come in. I believe these are yours. He takes you over to his office, and he's got two of your guns. Once they were the most expensive to have the trackers on them, sitting there in his front room or on his uh, desk. All of them have trackers. Mm -hmm. Those are only two you found at this time. Oh yeah. Where'd you find them at? They're brought to me from a gun show. They're one of a kind weapons, these two pistols here, you know. They were getting them before they, uh, at the docks, before it was uh, heading out. 
So, you know, they come in, buy a bunch of guns, leave the country with them. So, they were at that gun show. You got two out of six disappeared. Chances are the others went out towards the water. You know, basically offshore. Out of sea. Yeah. I don't know where they're going or what. Uh, they said there was a lot of high power weapons, but, you know, I don't know if they were all yours. These were just too uh, unique and identifiable that, you know, I knew they, I knew who these were when I was informed. They called me. I have a standard, uh, anytime an auction goes on and something really rare and incredible shows up, I go ahead and have them call me. I knew they had to be yours. You're so, right. I didn't know about the other ones. Um, but here's these two. And I'm still having people uh, find out if they can find out where, uh, who Got brought it. them to them. Uh, for the most part, it was, uh, they said, it's two real shady looking guys wearing real raggedy clothes. You know, kind of loose fitting. Hmm. I, it could have been disguises. You know what I mean? But Good possibility. How'd they get them? I thought maybe you sold them. I was worried if you were like in financial trouble. No, they were stolen. Okay. Well, I wish I had checked more. Or maybe froze his gun sale because I could have called someone and had it at least delayed or at least stopped the ship. But if I raise too much noise too often, I kind of lose out on these uh, last chance markets. Don't worry, I'll find out where they went. Well, that's good. And, uh, well, here you go. He hands them over. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry about the, you know, the amount for them. It's no big deal between us. We'll make things even. You just try to keep Troy out of trouble. That's going to be hard to do. Yeah, I know. Ever since he got up and was able to walk again, bless for him, and he I probably go soft on him because of it. You know, I thought I lost him just like his brother. But we won't go into that. Yeah. I'll try and do Damn a little it. bit of hunting for my missing guns, but I'll get a hold of Troy and <laughs> see if I can slow him down a little bit. I'm going to try to keep my hunting to animals, not guns. Okay. Well, if you need any help or anything, you know, let me know. I can get some wheels moving if you need. Um, were any of them like, did you have any military grade weapons? Two of them. Ah. Well, uh, are we talking things we don't need to show up? Things that don't need to be out in the streets. Definitely don't need to be in the streets. No, my concern was more of would the police show up? Asking why you had these. You didn't have anything like, you know, fully automatic weapons. Nothing you know? illegal. Okay, that's all. Then that's good. You always seem like one of the good ones. I try to be the good guy. <coughs> well, I will keep an eye out. You let me know if anything comes up. But, you know, I wish I could have done more. Uh, only because I had the contacts that at least gave us this much recovery. I'll see what I can do next. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Favor for favor. Every time. So, where do you want to head from this point? Said they were going out and seas. Open up. Start tracking down the others. Okay. To the sea, uh, to the boat area. Okay. Well, if they get too far out of range, though. My trackers won't go that far. Yeah. That's the problem is they're not showing up. Then they're but also, they could be... What? How many people have gun safes? A lot of those gun cases are made of lead. Yeah. have lead in them. So if they're put away, so they may show up later, too. Yeah. So you may want to keep an eye out for it. You know, they may come on so when someone opens up the safe to show it out. I'll you be know, able to find it, or at least get closer. Yeah. If they like, hey, look at this! I'm putting it back now. You know, yeah. it would at least ping a little bit. Maybe you'd be able to. But now that you know, you can like put active 
you could possibly even get some additional equipment that would just record. So if something did pop up, you didn't, you weren't out of the room at the time and missed it. You don't know where it's going. Yeah. I just hooked into your computer and when it tied. Maybe even beep ship sends you an app. Notice, guns have been found. I found you. Okay, you. Uh, landlords. No, you are. Are you renting or owning? So, what do you do about the big hole? Well, I got insurance for that shit. Okay. Uh, so they send over someone to start estimates, but you know, it's gonna be a few days, especially in light of all this. It'll be a while before I get anyone out of here. So you might want to throw a tarp over that hole. Uh, we've already called a tow truck to yank the car out for you, though. It's probably gonna take out a little more wall on the process. But we'll get someone out here to yank that out of the way, at least. So, um, f file your report, you know, give me information, let me know, like, any personal stuff that was lost. Uh, other than that, I said it's gonna be a bit of a delay. I've got a lot of, we've got a lot of claims going on right now. Um, governor was talking about, or the congressman was talking about getting, uh, funds for a, uh, or he's gonna talk to the governor about getting funds for uh, relief, food so help out here a little bit, but you know we'll see how it goes. Hopefully well, it won't raise your rates much. Until then, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna ask my boss if there's any employee housing that I could stay in. Sounds good. Uh, let us know, and uh, or if you need to stay in any hotels for a while, because you don't feel safe, keep your receipts, and we'll be able to uh, reimburse you within reason. Don't go stay at uh, the Ritz or anything. Motel 6 down the street will work fine. Comfort in. <laughs> Good enough. That's all right. Okay. Because they allow animals. Do you have animals listed on your insurance? I'm house. I'm cat I'm insurance. sitting. You're cat sitting. Okay. I was more of an out of gaming question, so you know. And yes. Okay. There's no no thing from him he'd say. He'd be looking for any excuse not to pay. But a car hit my house. You lied about the cat. <laughs> I do have animal insurance. Oh, protect you know, from damage from the animal yeah. in the house. Okay. Man, it just dropped down to like something very little bit. Well, we have one click. So we still can keep going for a while. Uh, so what do you do the next day? Go to work. Okay. Check the bushes. Any lindas? Any wild lindas about? <laughs> Fuck. So. Oh. During that, your headache went away. Finally. So it's slowly. It was only really bad. Yeah, they called today. It was only really bad when the cat was attacked, was on your back. It started getting better after the cat got off. And then slowly went away from there. Hurt. Right there. Right between the eyes. That's a uh, chakra point. It's also got a stone there. I can't feel it. Is our skull is bullet resistant? No. She just has a a stone which you can feel. Every one of them you can locate and feel. No, I mean if she was she had surgery on her. Did she have any surgery on her skull? Yeah, they put a stone into it. Did they put nine? Yeah. Seven and one in each hand. It's actually right there in the palm. If you look close, and rub, you can see them. Or feel them. You can't really see them. They're in your skin. Right here, you ever see people that looks like they have a like, slight bump there? You know what I mean? So you, it looks like you have a little round bump yeah. right there. Yeah, Phil. Hmm. What? <laughs> he has a bump on his forehead? Do I? Okay. 
So that's what you was. You have one too. That's what was twitching. Or hurting for a little bit around that area. Yeah. And your sore throat's back again. I gotta to talk to Dr. White. Yeah. Is sore throat? Well, you slept in a house with a hole in the front, I heard. But you're not feeling any other, you know, like illnesses, like a cold or anything? Has it gotten worse or anything? No. It can't be a cold, really, then. It would have proceeded one way or the other. We'll set up another EKG full spectrum scan. See if anything's changed, especially since you've been struck in the head. And uh, we're through uh, your house being hit by a car. So we probably should check to see how you And doing. I had a really odd thing happened with a bird. White heron. I don't even think I've seen one of those. Decline you. No, that's a secret. Shut up. That's a secret. Yeah, I had a uh, white heron knock on my door three times with his beak. Left marks on the door. Step back. Wait for me to open the door. Looked at me. Cocked its head to the right, to the left, and nodded to the off. Do the labs have any eyes or any white herons? Not that I know of. Huh. Did you hang around with the animals much back there? I mean, I heard they had a few escape, and uh, I don't know, maybe it's one you met before and it found you. No, they, from what Karen said, there was no birds huh. that got Was for an owl. One avian, an owl. Big eyed owl. I mean, the owl got out. But I didn't hear of any herons. The owl got out? Yeah. Damn, I liked him. He escaped along with a couple other ones. Well, I knew a few escaped. Wish I knew what was in that empty locked cage, though. That was open with the rest of the animals. Not that I'm sure I have the answer, but what was that again? There was a cage. At the labs? Yes, I had nothing in it. It was locked up for quite a while. And all of a sudden it was open. Maybe they're planning to put something in it. was locked until then. Larger cage? Yeah. It may have been locked. Same one. People crawling around in it, maybe locking themselves in there. I don't know. Kind of. Those are Karen's things, so I, you, you know, she knows more about it than I do. And she doesn't always inform everything. Um, I didn't even talk to Sylvia in weeks, so I don't even know on that either. Oh, they were in the same room for a while yesterday, but they still haven't talked. Next time you see Sylvia, to... try to talk to her. I have. We used to date for a while. Did she ever beat you up like she did Linda? No. <laughs> Not as bad. She's actually, well, she's got a little bit of a pagan side to her. Oh, by the way, this is between me and you. I spoke with Sylvia for a little bit. Okay. Her and her boy toy are, are in an open relationship. Okay. About to run out of time. But I need to go up and talk to Karen. Okay. I'll uh, keep in mind about that. But Yeah, they are, but that's because honestly, um, she was that way when that short, I, short time I, I was with her. She just, she doesn't bond to people. 
I like her sister who's, you know, understands animals and she's just, it's almost like talking to someone from another planet half the time. She like looks at you like, what the hell are you talking about? What the? About? Yeah, like some royalty. Yeah, I got that a couple times. I don't know, but I watched her do it to Chase. <laughs> I'm done. Go what? Yeah, doing it. We're good. Okay, so you go up to talk to Karen. Yep. She's in her office. Going through some different reports, looking at a, on the computer at different photos in the, or different cameras in the labs. Coming, oh, just doing another count, see if anything's missing again after that. After the crab incident? Yeah, I guess we should be happy he didn't try to come home. Speaking of homes, um, until my insurance could <coughs> get my house covered. <coughs> Repair the car shaped hole? Yeah. I'd heard. Is there any, like, employee housing or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can get something. You know, by the end of the day, I should have something lined up for you. Alrighty. Have to keep an eye on you. Can't have you getting out sick, you know. Oh, um, here's a question. Something yeah. strange other than giant blah 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 crab. But compared to that, not a lot else strange, but okay. Well, it's strange to me. Okay. Because I know that these animals are extremely rare and endangered. Okay. White heron. Oh, thinking about the crab. I was like, no, that's more than endangered and more than rare. It's unique and dead. Um, the <laughs> okay, white heron. Yeah. Yeah, they're endangered. Beautiful bird. I had one knock on my door. Very loyal. I had one knock on my door after the crab was taken down. Okay. Um. It waited for me to open the door. Did it come in? No. Oh. It looked at me. Moved its head a couple times. Nodded. And flew off. That is weird. That is... Bizarre. Did you get pictures? I have video. From the security cameras. At my house. Cool. I don't... We don't have any, but I still find it interesting to see it. Well, actually, it's on my phone. I can show you right now. Okay, you sure? Oh, that's a nice looking one. I spoke with a zoologist that day. Yeah. Sent him the video. Okay. And I'm waiting to hear back from him. But... I know we don't have any herons here. No, not in the labs. There might be some in the swamps out back. I mean, that's there. They are protected species back there. That's why I, we, we couldn't even. We can't even begin to imagine experimenting on them. But I mean, it just took me by surprise when that happened. It should. It didn't scare you or anything, did it? No. Well, that's nice. It just kind of took me by surprise, because... Maybe it was just concerned if you were all right. I don't know, but it left marks on my door from its beak. <sighs> Maybe you didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'll right, come up by this some more this evening.